Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Justina. In today's video, I'd like to share with you how I used Rust-Oleum's chalk paint to give new life to an old piece of furniture. My husband and I love to refurbish and upcycle old furniture, and my husband found this seven foot tall solid oak wood bookcase from Habitat for Humanity's Restore for just $50. We'd been looking for a bookshelf for my son's playroom and thought that this would be perfect for the space. But of course, I wanted to update the look and give it new life with a fresh coat of chalk paint. So come along with me as I use rust chalk paint to transform this old oak bookcase into this beautiful bookcase for my son's playroom. So of course you're going to need chalk paint, and here I'm using rust -Oleum's chalk paint. You're also going to need a brush. This is the brush that I've been using for several years now. I'll link similar brushes below. Of course a regular paintbrush would do. You'll also need a second paintbrush for applying the chalk paint matte clear finish. And all you'll need to prep your surface is some spray cleaner or water and a rag to clean the bookshelf before you begin. Now if your bookshelf or the surface that you're painting has any deep ding marks, I would fill those in before you begin if you want a nice smooth finish. But this bookshelf wasn't really in too bad of shape, so a lot of these ding marks that you see here, those will go away with the chalk paint as it's applied because it's a nice thick full coverage paint. I also removed the handles because I'm going to be replacing them and plus it would be easier to paint over instead of around them, but I did not remove the doors or take off the hinges because I'm a pretty neat painter. So with this product you want to begin by shaking the can very well. And you'll see that when you open the Rust-Oleum's chalked paint or any chalk paint, it's going to be a nice thick paint. And a little bit of this paint does go a long way. So as you can see, I'm applying it here just a little bit at a time and you can see how nicely, how smoothly and evenly the paint goes on. It's a great application. Now, if you've never used Rust-Oleum's chalk paint, but you've used Annie Sloan's chalk paint before, you will see that the application isn't quite as smooth as Annie Sloan's. However, Annie Sloan is double the price as Rust-Oleum's chalk paint, so I think you're getting a really good product here. And if you're interested in a full comparison between Annie Sloan's chalk paint and Rust-Oleum's chalk paint, I've linked a video for you that I've done with a full comparison, and that can be found both above and in the description box below. Now here I am getting at the dental molding. With chalk paint, it's so easy to use and don't be afraid to get in there. If this is your first time using it, really press that paint into the wood. I do want to mention that Rust-Oleum markets their chalk paint as being a one coat application and really if you want full coverage, you're going to need two to three coats and that goes for any of the chalk paint brands. Also, with the first coat, don't be alarmed or concerned if your brush strokes don't look very even. This is just the first coat. All of that beautiful, rich color is going to pull together when you apply the second coat. Now, if you're like me and your time is limited, I happen to have a toddler, so I do these projects during his naps. A great tip to avoid cleaning your brush each time and then having to wait for it to dry is to wrap it tightly in a plastic bag and stick it in the refrigerator. That way, when you go to paint again, you're ready to go. So it's the next day and I'm applying a second coat. And one of the things that I love about chalk paint, which makes it superior in my opinion to other types of paint for furniture refurbishing and upcycling, is that you don't have to be too precise with your brush strokes. As you can see, I'm just kind of pushing that paint into the wood as I did with the first coat and the color is really coming together. Now while it's recommended to use a brush when applying chalk paint, I found that it was actually a lot easier to use a roller for the shelves. So that's what I did. 
that took two coats and it turned out looking really, really great. I just used my small brush for the touch-ups around the edges. Rust-Oleum's Chalk Paint Sealer is totally different than Annie Sloan's Wax, so you're going to need a brush to apply it, and as you can see, it looks more like a polyurethane or polycrylic. You need to stir it very, very well. It's quite thin, and a little bit of this goes a long way. Because it is so thin, you want to make sure that you're careful not to get any drip marks. And since the bookcase didn't come with shelf supports, we picked some gold ones up at Home Depot to match the gold handles that we purchased. So that's how I used Rust-Oleum's chalk paint to give new life to this old bookcase and I am so happy with the way that it turned out. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you liked this video and found it informative. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!